So now that we have the basic mechanism for controlling the visibility of each of our design options, we can set up another condition. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this method to get the renderer components outside of this design option in both cases. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to evaluate which design option we're looking at. And we're also going to restructure the way that our algorithm's working a little bit. So instead of doing our conditional statement first, we're going to do our loop first. This way we can save a couple steps. So I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this, paste it, and I'm going to put this condition inside our for loop. Okay, so let's delete that. So now we have inside of our for loop here, if we press the J key, if the current object is part of design option one, let's disable it. Else if design option equals equals two, rend dot enabled equals true, and we'll do the opposite here. So I'm going to set up this logic down here as well. So let's clean this up a little bit. So I'm going to copy and paste this here, and I'm going to flip these true, false. So now I can apply this script to my separate objects. So I'm going to say the Barcelona chairs. I'm going to apply this script furniture options to my Barcelona chair group. And I'm going to say this belongs to design option one. Okay, and I'm going to select my Corbu chair. I'm going to apply this furniture options to it. I'm going to say this is design option two. So now if I save my script, replay my scene, I'm going to hit J and that's going to hide my option one. I'm going to press K and that's going to hide my option two. So I can toggle between these two design options by pressing the J and K key. You may notice though that both design options are shown when my scene first loads. So one way we can get around that is simply by copying this little chunk of code from my update loop into my start method. So what I'm going to do is when my scene starts, I'm going to get all of the renderers I'm going to loop through them. If they belong to design option one, I'm going to hide them. If they belong to design option two, I'm going to show them. So we can flip this. I'm going to make design option one visible at first and design option two invisible. Okay, so now when I load my scene, design option two is no longer shown. I can press the J key and then it will show up. I'll press the K key and that will make the design option one visible.